Over to other international stories, and here's the latest coming in from the United States. Widespread protests along the U.S.-Mexico border has alarmed the U.S. administration, which is fearing an attempt to overrun facilities along the border. Barbed wire and extra security has been deployed at El Paso, one of the busiest ports of entry between the two neighboring countries. The border was also shut down temporarily after a large group of migrants formed on its Mexican side fears leading to fears that the border facility could be overrun. <laughs> Meanwhile, U.S. immigration officials are touring the troubled crossing areas. Government personnel from other agencies have been called to the border to help the deal with the increasing number of migrants. But once you start digging into this brush, there's, there's also insects, there's reptiles, there's other things in there, and they're going to hunker down. In some cases, they believe that they can turn themselves into to law enforcement or the border patrol. But in some cases, some folks don't know. So they'll keep trying to hide. They'll keep trying to hide. Or they'll jump, it, they'll jump behind a group of mules that are carrying narcotics. And they don't know exactly where they're going. So we see a lot of that here in this brush. Again, this is the busiest area on the entire southwest border for these illegal entries. As crisis escalates, the war of words too is on the rise. Democrats from the House of Representatives, who concluded their visit to a detention center in El Paso, were met with shouts of protests from pro-Trump demonstrators. The representatives have been highlighting the plight of the parents who are being detained separately from their children. But they were booed by Trump supporters as they took podium to speak about the ruining conditions of detention centers. Remember, the conditions faced by children entering the United States has become an issue in the run-up to the 2020 presidential polls. Let's look east and shift our focus onto the unrest in Hong Kong as China's central government has condemned the ransacking of Hong Kong's legislature by the protesters. Beijing has said that it is backing the city authorities to investigate the quote-unquote criminal responsibility of violent offenders. It has said that the serious illegal actions of the protesters have trampled the rule of law in Hong Kong. Remember, the protesters had taken over legislative chamber in the heart of Hong Kong yesterday. The protests were sparked by a flag-raising ceremony that marked 22 years of the city's handover to China from Great Britain. painted slogans on walls and over the territory's emblem. The series of protests are against a controversial bill that would allow extraditions to mainland China. The protesters fear that the law would allow Beijing to seize anyone it likes and whisk them away to mainland China on trumped-up charges. Police forcefully evicted the demonstrators who occupied Hong Kong's legislature chamber in the wee hours of Tuesday. It is not clear if any arrests have been made. Authorities charged towards the protest alliance with riot shields and helmets after they refused to leave Hong Kong's legislative chamber. The police fired tear gas into the crowd after raising warning banners in order to chase them away. A cleaning operation was launched outside the Hong Kong legislative chamber this morning. Debris including umbrellas, hard hats and water bottles were the few signs left of the mayhem. Hong Kong is slowly returning to normalcy as police cleared roads and businesses are returning to work. Now, Hong Kong's chief executive, Carrie Lam, has condemned the extreme use of violence and vandalism by the protesters. Lam said that the government has not responded to every demand because of good reasons. It is not true to say that the government has not responded. Um, we have not responded to every demand asked because of um, good reasons. Now, first of all, uh, if the cause of the social tensions that we have seen is a bill to amend the Fugitive Offenders Ordinance, on the 15th of June, 
I have announced the suspension of the bill. And subsequently, we have explained and elaborated by suspending the bill at this point in time with no timetable and no plan to resume the debate of the bill in the Legislative Council. U.S. President Donald Trump stated that protesters who stormed Hong Kong's parliament want democracy for the semi-autonomous Chinese territory. For democracy, and I think most people want democracy. Uh, unfortunately, some governments don't want democracy, but that's what it's all about. It's all about democracy. There's never been anything better. And I think we're the best example of it right here in the United States. Meanwhile, the massive protests made it to the top of every Hong Kong newspaper this morning. Images of the thousands of protesters outside the city's assemblies occupied covered half the pages of most papers.